Time off request process in Workforce Central. First we need to log on to Workforce Central. On the blue banner bar select the My Information tab. From there select My Actions. Then click the link for the time off request. Once the template opens you can verify your leave balances as of today. We're going to move down to the time off request section. Use the drop down box next to request type and select our leave. Sick. Next we're going to use the calendar drop down icon to select the start and end date. There's a few things to remember about selecting dates. The first thing is if you're requesting leave for one day you need to make sure you enter that date as the start and end date. The second thing is you will not be able to request time off in the past. An example of this is if you call off sick and you return the next day and you're wanting to submit your leave, you'll have to do that directly in your time card or your supervisor can take care of that. The time off request process will not let you request leave in the past. And lastly, when selecting a range of dates for time off, you need to make sure that you do not include holidays in your leave request. Okay, next I'm going to move down to the message field. This field is optional. You can use this to provide more detailed information to your supervisor as to why you're requesting leave. This information will not populate in your time card. It's just purely informational and appears in the email notifications to your supervisor. Next we're going to move to hours. By default, same hours as scheduled shifts is selected. This refers to you requesting the whole day off when this is selected. If this is correct, you can select next at the bottom of the screen and then another window will pop up and you can hit save and close. Once your supervisor approves your request, you will get notification by email and your leave then will be populated in your time card. Next I'm going to show you an example if you only want to take a few hours off. So you're going to come back to your time off request link. Verify your leave balances. Come down to the time off request section. For the request type you're going to select your leave. You're going to select your start and end date. I'm going to type a message in here. Now under hours, I'm going to hit the radio button next to specify hours. Once you select specified hours, you have to fill out the detailed information below. Next click in the start time and enter an 8. This refers to what time you're scheduled to work. All full-time employees have a scheduled shift time of 8 a.m. This start time does not refer to what time your appointment starts or what time you are leaving for the day. Next click in the hours per day field and enter the number of hours of leave that you are taking. Next move to the date type. By default scheduled and non-scheduled days are selected. That's fine. Click next and save and close. Your supervisor will get a request notification for your leave request and after accepting it you will get a notification back and it will populate your time card.